This is problem number five from section 1.1. In this problem, it says, find a formula for the function graphed. They give you one function here in part A, another function in part B. They want you to find a formula for the function. You can see that these are piecewise functions, right? This is not a, not a linear function per se because it uh, goes up and then pops back down. Um, not a quadratic, so on and so forth. This is a piecewise function. We're gonna have a, a certain linear function for the values from zero to two, and then a certain linear function from values two to four. So let's go ahead and write this out. So we know we're gonna use y equals mx plus b because that's a linear, right? We can see that these are both linear, so we're gonna use slope intercept form. I know that my slope here I go up to, over to, so the slope for the first line is one. So for this line, we're gonna say that this is m equal one, and this line is m equals negative one because it goes down to and over to, so it's the opposite slope. When I go to write this out, the first equation, or the first line that I have, crosses the y-axis at zero, so my equation for this, if I set this up as a piecewise function, is going to say f of x equals, and then I'll have, for the first function, I would have, because it says f of x here, I don't have to say anything, any y equals or anything like that, so I can just say 1x, or just x, and that's going to be from 0, less than or equal to, and I say less than or equal to because it's a closed dot there. X less than or equal to, and then this would be a 2 for the X value there. Now the second part, I'm going to use uh, the function negative X, but it's negative X, and it's going to cross, if you notice that line, it would go all the way up to 4. So this is actually uh, Y equals negative X plus 4. So this is going to be negative x plus 4 for the function, right? Remember, this is y equals negative x plus 4. And that's going to run from 2 to 4. But here's the issue. We already defined 2 in our top function, so we can't define it in the bottom. So we're going to say 2 is not defined for that function, so less than x, but 4 is defined less than or equal to 4. And that's the piecewise function for the first uh, first function that's in the graph. For the second function that's in the graph, you can see that this is a flat line. So because it's a flat line, this is y equals negative 1 for a function there. And this is a flat line, and this is y equals 2 for a function. So we're going to have another piecewise function because they, they separate here. And we're going to say f of x equals And I don't have to write the y's because I wrote f of x equals here. So for the first function, because this is the farthest left x value, we start with the negative 1. So negative 1 is our function. It's going to be negative 1 from negative 1 x value to 1 x value, including both. So we're going to say from negative 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. And then we're going to, for the second one, say that it's 2 for the function. But that runs not from negative 1, because negative 1 is not included. So we're going to say negative 1 less than x. And then 2, or uh, not 2, 3 is included here. Oh, I didn't mean to say negative 1. That's positive 1, sorry. Positive 1. So that's positive 1 less than x, uh, less than or equal to 1, 2, 3, less than or equal to 3. And so that's the other piecewise function.